Hi there and welcome to day 27 of the six week challenge, it's Sunday um, and yeah having a, um, a good day again, got a few bits and bobs planned, mostly chores today actually so going to be cooking up some food for the week, um, making a veggie chilli actually which is really really nice, it's a great thing because it's you get huge portions and um, each portion only comes in at about 130-140 calories and it really fills you up and it's absolutely yummy um, and if you then have that with a um, a replacement a substitute food item um, then um, and what I'm talking about here is a substitute for rice so maybe cauliflower rice or contract rice or something like that you get basically having a dinner which is under 200 calories absolutely stuffs your gut so you're really really full um, and yeah it's great so um, love that and that's what I will be doing today so um, yesterday I talked a little bit about intermittent fasting and time restricted eating and I just want to talk to you a little bit more about that today because it's quite an important subject and it's quite a hot topic still at the moment it's one of these things which is getting more and more in fashion and in vogue especially the intermittent fasting um although and ultimately they're kind of the same things although the words have kind of become a bit or the phrases have been a bit, bit mixed up um so Intermittent fasting, in its truest sense, um, started with something called 5-2. So the idea was that you'd have two days of not really eating a week and five days of eating normally or relatively healthily um, and following something like a Mediterranean-style diet. And the Mediterranean-style diet is lots of fruits and veggies and fish and some meat, um, not potatoes and pastas and stuff like that much. Um, so not uh, all pizzas, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, the idea was it was two days on fire five days off um which is fine um but um, a lot of people found that quite hard to actually have two days where and i think in the actual five two it's like 400 calories maximum for those two days people found it quite hard um because actually 400 is quite a difficult thing to hit on a day it's quite hard mentally and physically to do that for a lot of people um and um so people started moving away from that as a way of doing it and then there was more research into fasting as a whole and they found that you get very similar benefits from doing something called time um, restricted eating um, and with that you actually only eat within a certain time window each day and the idea is is that um, you do something like for men it's 16 eight so 24 hours a day 16 hours a day you don't eat eight hours you do for ladies it's slightly different but as this is all for guys we'll just stick for the men side of things um and with the 16 and eight um you'd normally pick a time so say between midday and eight in the evening or 10 in the morning and six in the evening and that's your eating window you don't eat before then you don't eat after then. zero calories in so you can have a coffee um, or green teas or things but no nothing with any milk in zero calories just to reiterate that point and the idea is, is that your main fasting period happens while you're asleep so actually if you finished um, eating at say eight in the evening go to bed you sleep um, for the night, get up, that's 10 hours of your fast really done. So you only really have to focus um, for the rest of, for the next six hours. That's assuming you get up at 6 a.m. in the morning and you're fasting from 12 till 8 o'clock. Um, so, yeah, that's um, that's how that works. And the idea is, is that um, with the actual fasting, when your body's in a fasted state, um, a couple of things happen which are really, really good for guys. So one of them is something called um, human growth. <laughs> easy for me to say, human growth hormone. And there's more release of human growth hormone. So basically, if you've been exercising, it helps your body to recover and also helps your muscles to grow. The other thing is autophagy. Autophagy is where your body starts to cannibalize dead old cells and replaces them with new cells. And it's meant to be very, very good um, for people um, just in general for help for longevity for youth and um, there is some research into cancer at the moment but I don't know anything about that really I haven't really pushed um, my research into that area um, also with some degenerative mental diseases in fact I've got a friend in Wales um, who is currently doing intermittent fasting specifically to try and help from a mental point of view um, because his family has a history of Alzheimer's and so he wants to try and restrict the chances of him getting that. He believes this will work. Again, I don't know. don't know what the research around that is, um, but he seems to believe it. Um, so, you know, I say all power to him for that. Um, so, yeah, so um, that's one of the other benefits. The other benefit is, and we talked about insulin the other day, um, is about um, not spiking insulin in the body. Now, remember we said that when actually um, insulin is spiked, your body is not able to burn fat. Um, so um, when you're in a fasted state, there is zero insulin spiking because your body isn't having to transport energy around and convert it 
um, from the food you're actually eating. So you can sit there for 16 hours and you're not in a state of insulin spiking. Um, so it helps to stop insulin resistance. Um, it can help if you're type 2 diabetic as well, um, because that's part of the problem with that. Um, and in fact, there's a book which I recommend you reading um, called The 800, I think it's called, no, it's The Blood Sugar Diet by Dr. Michael Mosley. And it talks about um, reversing type 2 diabetes. And he does this through um, restricted eating or um, and so like low calorie eating but also um, in his latest follow-up from that fast 800 he talks about also doing time restricted eating using that as an adjunct to it and actually when you're following a um, an eating plan where you aren't eating too many calories in a day using time restricted eating or um, intermittent fasting and I'll stick with intermittent fasting as a phrase, phrase for that as it's the most commonly known one um, it makes it a lot easier because if you're only eating within an eight hour window um, and you haven't got all that much to eat and when you get it down your neck it actually does keep you full for quite a lot of the time so it does help and in conjunction with a low calorie diet it can be very very powerful because it helps your body burn even more fat so that's time restricted eating intermittent fasting explained to you if you didn't know about it already big fan of it um so yeah um in tomorrow's video not sure what we'll chat about but i will see you tomorrow on monday so take care and i hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend bye for now